Good afternoon. Today you're lucky enough to have two tutors with you on for this session. My name is Phil Pollard. I am head of the electrical department and to my right I have Matt Whitsby, ex course lady for plumbing and electrical. And Just like to hand you over now to our principal who will say a welcome message. Welcome to Regular and Cleveland College. My name is Jason Faulkner. I'm the principal here at the college. It is a bit strange um, in terms of welcoming you through through the video and through online. Normally we'd have you in the college getting a feel of the building and getting to meet your tutors in person as part of our welcome day. But today, hopefully, we will still meet your needs in ensuring we provide you with the information you need and the knowledge to ensure you start in September with us in a seamless way. You will have uh, received information regarding our seven day free bus pass, uh, and that is seven days. That ability to get around uh, Red Kern, East Cleveland and the Tees Valley on an evening and a weekend during term time is a fantastic opportunity for you to really get out of, of where you live and free uh, to you to use that. When you join us in September, um, the college will look slightly different. Uh, depends on what happens with the current social distancing rules. The college has been adapted for the current guidelines on social distance to make sure you're safe as we all can be in these um, these difficult times. It is important you take responsibility when you enter the building that you follow social distance and wash your hands regularly uh, and just you know make sure all of us are safe by following the rules that are set out and obviously as we get nearer to September um, the rules may have changed and we'll, we'll change with them to, to accommodate you at the college. Today like I said is about you getting to know uh, your tutor, it's about getting to ask questions it's about getting to understand you know, what the course will entail when you come to join us. So it is important you take time to ask them questions, get to know the tutor and really find out what you need for when you come to college. Today there will also be videos from student services where you will find out about the enrichment opportunities, you will find out about the student bursary, any finances that are available to you such as free school meals and please please take up them opportunities you know the, the money is there to support you as students at our college you know if you don't access that money when we don't need know you need that money and what we have seen through these difficulty times is that people sometimes people really struggle um you know when they haven't got that that finances available so please you know with the student bursary to help you support you with kit and equipment free school meals the seven day bus pass that's all there for you and we're here to support you to have the best experience you can at the college. The college is about giving you life chances. It's about enabling you to take that next step. You know, you've finished GCSEs, no matter what your results, you know, because they'll come in August and they'll be what they'll be. What I can guarantee you now is that we'll be a big place for you at the college. If you don't quite get them grades, then it mean, may mean you don't go straight to level three. It may mean you're going at level two but I can guarantee there's a place for you at the college. Obviously, we expect high standards at the college, so it is important that when you arrive at the college, you are punctual, you are appropriately dressed for your lessons, you wear the appropriate PPE, and you follow the college rules, because it's important we're preparing you for work. And without the basic discipline standards, you won't succeed at work. So please use college as that environment where you can develop your knowledge, your skills and your behaviours ready for the workplace because that's what will set you apart from your peers when you start on that journey to employment or under higher education or you want to fight for that place for an apprenticeship. Red and Cleveland College is here to support you. But a lot of what you do and a lot of what your achievements will be will be simply down to your hard work, your commitment and motivation. And I can say that from my personal experience. You succeed in life by hard work, commitment and dedication. So please take time today to speak to the tutors, ask questions, whether that be regarding the technical part of your qualification or your course, whether that be to do with free meals, bursary allowances, please 
ask them questions. What I would close by saying is study safe, study local and study at Red Crane Cleveland College. Thank you. Hello, it's back to my level three electrical principles and the electrical practicality. On the principal side of it, at level two, we will cover a multitude of skill sets that you will require. There'll be an introduction into uh, the sciences of electricity, how we behave with electricity, and how electricity is expected to behave with you. In the workshop, we will cover such things as uh, conduit bending, be it metal, be it plastic, working with tray, working with different types of cable, installing different types of cable, putting sockets, light switches, full circuits, ring mains, etc. You will have a chance to build all of those. You also get a chance to do health and safety, which is a qualification that you will re be required to have to enable you to go on to any building sites or commercial sites etc. On a level three side of the electrical this is just an advanced type of the level two where you will delve into the sciences in a little bit more detail. You will also cover things like inspection and testing. You will learn how to find bolts and you will deal more with live electricity than you did in the level two. Uh, once you have finished that, this will enable you after a two year period to go on to, to complete your NVQ, which can be also done through the college and your AM2, which can be done through the ETC group via our training schedule at NETA. And then once you've completed all of that, you will become a fully qualified electrical installer at grade two for as recognized by the GIB at gold card level. I will now hand you over to my plumbing friend who will have a chat to you about what he expects of you in the plumbing. Yeah, thank you electrical friend. So overall qualifications that we run this year. So to get to my friend Phil's group, first of all, you might have to start at level one, multi-scale plumbing and electrical. What that course consists of is 50% electrical, 50% plumbing, and primarily it's more of a practical course than it is a theory course. But there's still elements of theory you've got to understand, health and safety, introduction to construction, and obviously elements of things like circuitry, like light and circuit, socket circuits from electrical, offer us cold and not water systems. So that course currently up to an after course. If you progress from that, then you will do a level two full-time qualification, which is 50% theory, 50% practical. Off that, you'll do nine online exams and a wide range of practical assessments finishing with you being able to put a full bathroom suite in. After that qualification, then it's very qual, which is more theory-based, more technical, a lot more difficult. But the intentions what me and Phil have is to make good electrical engineers and good plumbers or gas engineers, whichever route you want to go down overall. So we do have a wide range of um, people that we talk to, discuss, try and get people in work. You'll cover work experience throughout your qualifications, whether you're level one, level two. So you will get a good taste of what happens outside in the real world while you're obviously studying for your qualification as well. So that's basically about all the three qualifications that we run regarding services, electrical and plumbing at the college. On a positive side, looking at the experience that both Mark and I have between us, uh, we have roughly seven years worth of on-site experience between the two of us, covering the electrical and the plumbing side of it. So it's not as if we don't know what we're talking about when you come in and there isn't nothing that happens out there that we haven't done, been involved with, or built ourselves. So you can consider yourself to be in safe hands and as long as you take the advice that's given to you, follow the advice that's given and 
use the advice that's given to you, you will come out at the end of it a fully qualified either plumber or, or electrician. Now I'd like to hand you over to our student services team and they will tell you what, what type of services they've got to offer you. Hi, I'm Tom from the Tutorial and Enrichment team and the student services team. We want to make sure you have a great experience while you study at Redcar and Cleveland College. We arrange loads of events and sessions which help you gain additional skills and have fun whilst doing it. These sessions allow you to make informed choices about your lifestyle, making sure your mind and body stay healthy and safe. We love putting on events like Freshers' Fair, a great opportunity for you to have fun at the start of a year. Respect Festival, where you can learn about others, their lifestyle and differences. And the Progression Fair, which gives you the opportunity to plan your future, talk to universities and employers. We love students getting involved, so when you start in September, please come along to Student Services and say hi. Hi, my name's Lorraine Preston and I work for Student Bursary as part of the Student Services team. We understand that coming to college can be very costly, but we want to be able to offer you the financial help and support that you need to help you just concentrate on your studies. We're encouraging everybody to complete an online bursary application form, as we offer help with free bus travel to and from college, a weekly bursary for our 16 to 18 year old students, help with childcare costs and meals while you attend college, but also discounts on course kits and equipment. Did you also know that the college has free Wi-Fi, free print credits, free online resources and free access to IT equipment? Don't forget to complete your online bursary form before September. Look out for our online videos which help and support you and we look forward to seeing you soon. Hi, I'm Alice, part of the careers team within Student Services at Red Car and Cleveland College and I'm here to give you some information on how you can make some informed choices about your future goals. You may already know what you want to do and just need some help and encouragement in planning how to get there or you're starting to think about your next steps and I can help you prepare for your future goals. I can explore lots of options with you to help you make the best decisions about moving on to more college courses or on to university. I can also help with job search skills such as where the jobs are, what jobs are available and what you can earn. Hi, I'm Jenny, I'm the welfare officer in the student services team. I'm part of a specialist team here to help you to stay safe and well whilst you're studying at college. Rekka College is committed to safeguarding and promoting your well-being so that you can focus on your studies. The team and I can refer you to specialist external services so that they can provide you with the support and advice that you may need. You can pop into the welfare team at any point. We also work closely with the tutors and they can bring you along if they feel you need our help. Thanks now, bye. Hi, I'm Helen Marnie. I'm a welfare officer in the student services team. I'm part of a specialist team here to help you to stay safe and well while you're studying at college. You can pop and see the welfare team at any point and we also work with all the tutors in college and they can bring you along if they know you need our help. Hi, I'm Tracy Williams, Surf Garden Officer in the Student Services Team. I'm part of a specialist team here to support you to stay safe and well while studying in college. Redcar is committed to safeguarding you and to promote your well-being to allow you to focus on your studies. The team and I can refer you to specialist external services who can give you the advice and support you may need. Hi, <coughs> I'd just like to say that Red Car and Cleveland College really do have a good student services team here um, based on Corporation Road. And really come in, have a look, have a, have a talk with the people, get to know and apply for the student nursery. Um, now we're going to go and hear from our school teams who will be giving you some more information about the enrolment part of the services that you will be en entitled to. Hi everyone, it's Alice here from the skills team over at Red Car and Cleveland College. I hope you're all well. Uh, I just wanted to jump on and give a little update about enrolment today. Obviously, the past few months have been really strange for you. They've been really strange for all of us too. But we do want you to know that you have got your place here at Red Car and Cleveland College, no matter what your results are. You are fully supported by all of our teams. Um, with enrolment, we are still working out the ins and outs and everything like that. But 
you will receive a letter and it will have details on of the dates that you need to enrol as well as how enrolment will take place it'll be really clear and it'll be really easy to follow to make the process as smooth as possible and um, if you do have any questions about your course anything to do with the course information or um it might be other things that we're trying to do for you in, on campus, like your bus pass or your bursary. You can get in contact with our team at info at cleveland.ac.uk. As well as that, you can always contact us on our social media pages. Now, our social media pages are a really good way to keep up to date with everything that's going on in college on our end, as well as what you can look forward to when you start with us. Um, so if you search on any of your social media platforms at Red Car College, you'll find us on there. On every Tuesday, our team jumps onto the Instagram for a takeover as well and answers all of your burning questions so you can get a direct reply from us then too. Um, I hope you have a really nice summer. Enjoy your break and get ready for some hard work in, from September um, and take care. We'll hope to see you soon. Thank you. Hi, it's Phil again. Just like to point you towards the uh, Q&A se uh, session that's on the side there. If you have any questions, please type them in and we'll answer them as quickly as we can. Sasha, uh, who is one of our wonderful marketing people, has put a link up there for those students who are over the age of 19 who may have to pay something towards their tuition fees. And there's a link there that will take you to the student services for a finance application form. You know, those of you who need it, please do make use of it. Um, let your tax dollars work for you. Have we any questions? None. Well, everybody's happy. We'll give it another minute in case people are slow in typing or don't know what to type. Literally ask us any question that you want about plumbing or electrical or about the college. We'll quite happily answer them for you. Right, in that case, they, oh, where, how many days a week is it? Normally, um, the common sort of full-time courses are classed as a two-day in college, could either be a Monday or a Tuesday, or a Tuesday or a Monday one. We try to link both days so they are together, so those who are able to get work or employment can get work and employment and then help subsidise the fact that they are in college learning. Um, on uh, level one overall, you'll be doing it over basically three days if you have to get maths and English. That's uh, the point I was going to make. Those of you who will require to supplement your maths and English um, outcomes from while you were at school will, however, have to do two, either one math session and one English session, or either or. But that will be done on the third day. Or there is an availability for you to do it as an evening course on either of the two days when you are in college doing your level two or level three diplomas. There is a free seven day bus pass. Our principal Jason talk uh, did let you know that there will be a free bus pass and it lasts for the whole seven days, not just the days you were in college, so if you are entitled to it, please get it and please use it. Work experience is part of the course. Um, one of the things that we will organise for you is that you will go out with either a plumbing firm or an electrician or an electrical firm com or company and they will give you a, a minimum of five full days worth of work experience so while you are training so that you can see what the hand 
is all part of the of the course's life. Any more? I think that's it. Right, based on that, we will call it. A, I don't wait a minute. How much can you earn as an electrician or as a plumber? Lots. That earnings depends on how much you want to, on how much you actually want to earn, and how much you want to work. Um, basically, as an electrician, for a qualified, elect, fully qualified electrician, you're talking in the region of twenty-two to twenty-five pounds an hour. As a plumber then they're on slightly less because they get 50 pounds an hour. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, but somewhere between 20 and 30 pound for both trades for a fully qualified tradesman is, is about right. Yeah. And if you are self-employed, then the more hours you work, the more money you make. Any more? Right, we'll call on a day. Thank you very much for those who've attended. I look Phil, forward. yes. I think there's one more just from Jonathan. Um, he's just asking about the level two diploma there. I can't see it. Oh, right it's just come up now. Sorry, Jonathan, you've had a quick question regarding the letter I've received. It says, I've secured a level two diploma. Does this mean I will start at level two or will start at level one? Um, if you've been accepted at level two, then uh, electrical then I will have had a look at your application I do believe that we've spoken and I've accepted you on level two depending on your school results predicted, yeah because they're predicted so once you know your school results that will determine whether you're coming at level one or at level two does that answer your question grades three maths and English for level one for us maths and English for direct level two. That's how we run it. Yeah. That helps you out. Any more? Right. Thank you very much for attending. We look forward to seeing you all in September. Bye bye. Be safe.